What's going on everybody and welcome back to another IPA review. Today we got some actually really crazy. The Reaper of Death, baby. <laughs> now this beer is by Medicine Hat Brewing Company, crossed with Valley Brewing. If you can see that there, I love the can art on this one. The hops, the big old dino, all of it is just badass. It's a double New England IPA sitting at 8.8%. We're gonna get right into this Reaper of Death. Damn. It's got a crazy description. So it says, walking the earth during the Cretaceous period 79.5 million years ago, the Reaper of Death claimed the Canadian Badlands of Southern Alberta. It is the oldest known Tyrannosaur on record in northernly North America. The Reaper of Death was recently discovered in the Bow Valley River, um, west of Medicine Hat and is now proudly situated at the Royal Ty Tyrell Museum in Drumheller, inspired by a vicious meat-eating dinosaur known for its serrated teeth and monstrous face. Medicine Hat Brewing Co. Brewmaster Mitch and Valley Brewing Brewmaster Nick created the monster of a beer. Generously dry hopped with an incredible amount of Zaka, Eclipse, El Dorado, Idaho 7, Sabro Cryo, which is lupulin enriched, and pink boots hot to give this beer amazing hop flavor and aroma. Hop heads and dinophiles rejoice. <laughs> now that is a crazy description. It's got like five or six different types of hops in there. I think I've only tried El Dorado before. All right, 8.8%, a low bitterness at a 34 IBU. Let's get right into this baby. The Reaper of Death, all right. So before my videos, I tip the can upside down and I shake all that. I roll it a bit to get the hops mixed. Someone before was asking, uh, you forgot to do that. I do it before just so it doesn't foam up. Uh, I give it a bit to settle. So let's get this pour. Oh my God, I can smell it instantly. It's got a high, uh, like a high citra kind of um, almost smell. Mm, those hops smell delicious. It's very, very light and refreshing. All right, let's go. See a color here. I can't imagine it being too dark. No, a nice golden, a slight haze. Look at that. Now that is a color for a perfect looking beer. Good carbonation. It's crisp. It's golden. It's more of a yellow than a golden. It's a little bit hazy. You can almost see through it, but damn, does that look delicious. Lots of carbonation in there. Let's get another aroma smell here. Wow, it's just so, so, so light and refreshing. I've never had or smelt a beer that was just way up there. It's like a level above like Citra. Citra has like an orange kind of, this is like almost lemony. Mm, like a lime, lemon, and um, something tropical. Wow, the smell of it. It's like a solid nine out of eight, um, 9.8 out of 10 for that smell. Like it's super intriguing by that smell. I can tell this is going to be a solid beer. So let's get into it. Let's give it a test taste here and get some more description on it. Wow. Does that smell really refreshing though? Light citrusy. Here we go for a taste. Hmm. Whoa. Okay. Mm. It does start off with that citrusy taste, but you really taste those hops. It's got that big hops flavor, a little bit earthy, you know, um, which, which is not bad. I'm not a big fan of too much overpowering. It's like this nice balance in the middle. They're like tangoing with each other, that nice light citrus at the beginning. And then you feel that not necessarily bitterness, but that flavor of the hops and then it kind of just goes back and forth between like a citra hops flavor. So double New England IPA, not too bad. Those hops are very present, um, but they're both very balanced and they, uh, they complement each other very well. The hops almost give off like a caramely kind of taste. You really get that that flavor of hops. 
and the citrus kind of lemony, maybe cantaloupe, honeydew, melon is, 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 is there, but that hops really likes to say hello, and that's the boss. <clears throat> okay. Wow. Then, then again, being said, like last, last video, uh, videos, beer review, lots of new flavors, lots of new hops. Um, not too sure if I, I've really tasted that before, but it's definitely sweet. Has that hops flavor without the bitterness. Has that citrusy tropical taste. It's a nice lighter kind of body. It's not too heavy at all, as you can see. <clears throat> It's uh, it's a very good, delicious, enjoying beer for sure. It has a really great taste to it, and those hops and the tropicalness and the citrus, uh, all of it, it, it just accents itself so well. Mmm. It really is a perfect match. With that flavor of hops, it usually leaves you with a bitterness. It has a little bit of like a lagery taste, kind of. Um. But it's 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 really good. I really enjoy it. Um, let's slam her down, cause it really is, you know, that kind of beer. But with an eight point, I can't believe this is an eight point eight percent. By the way, it could easily pass us like a five five. Wow, they did a really great job. <clears throat> All right, let's slam her down here. Is it chuggable? Oh yes, I like that aftertaste. <clears throat> it doesn't bite the tongue, but it tingles it. You get those flavors, and it's like it's like a very nice citrusy, light lagery taste, and it settles on your tongue, not in a bitter, biting way, but just as like a nice little tingle, um, a little caramelized taste, with some other fruity notes in there, like citra lemony wow and those are some really good tasting hops wow that is an amazing interesting beer for sure it gets crazy when you get up to these 9.5 8.8s but when it's an ipa it masks it so well and you can never tell the reaper of death baby 2.0 double new england ipa a solid 9 out of 10 I'd say delicious perfect balance I can feel it in my stomach it's definitely <laughs> definitely got that 8.8 percent .8 in there my boy Ooh, definitely bold yes definitely hoppy and very aromatic that is for sure thank you guys so much for watching thank you all the members I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and this review today that was something different and interesting pretty cool hey what quite the description on this bad boy other local beer shot of that guy there and uh stay tuned i'm gonna start brainstorming some podcasts get them back in the works <clears throat> i'm gotta go to uh this was the last one we had so i'm gonna go pick up a, a couple other ones and uh fill up the howler baby and have that ready for friday night's fully loaded wheel of chugs stay tuned for the best lit live stream on the platform every single friday so stay tuned and i'll see you guys very soon we're gonna have a good one. I wonder what we're gonna get for this week's IPA chug. Cheers! Until next time, challenge accepted out. Peace! Enough.